my dear friends today i'll discuss with you the significance of uh, dielectric constant in co in case of the coulomb force you know very well the force of attraction or repulsion between the two charges may be negative positive may be negative negative or may be positive positive that force of attraction of repulsion given by the given by the scientist coulomb known as the coulomb formula that force is equals to 1 upon 4 pi epsilon not q1 q2 by r square here 1 over 4 pi epsilon not is called coulomb's constant and its value is 9 into 10 raised to power 9 for the vacuum or the free space and unit newton meter square upon coulomb square now you know here the 4 is constant pi is constant and there is a you know parameter quantity physical quantity that is epsilon naught which is called permittivity of the free space then the question arises what does it mean the permittivity of the free space now before coming to the significance of the permittivity of the free space or the dielectric constant on the other hand if uh, you write the force between the two charges in a medium okay in a medium of relative permittivity epsilon r then the same formula becomes 1 over 4 pi epsilon naught epsilon r q1 q2 by r square now in a medium there comes epsilon r which is called relative permittivity and it is also called dielectric constant now the numerically numerical significance of dielectric constant first of all I'm going to explain the dielectric constant is a constant which tells you how strong the electrical force is the relative strength of the electrical field or the force is actually proportional to the reciprocal of the dielectric constant dielectric constant comes in the denominator okay rather than the constant itself the coulomb's constant itself because the dielectric constant is very very small in case of uh, the vacuum or the free space so its uh, reciprocal is very very large so the electrical force is relatively very large in vacuum the reciprocal of the dielectric constant is about 9 billions newton and then uh, you know meter square upon the coulomb square by the contrast on the other hand if you think about the gravitational force there comes gravitational constant and there the constant you know gravitational strength constant is about 67 67 trillions of a newton meter square upon the kilogram square thus a given amount of electrical charges exert a much larger electric force than a complementary amount of mass does a uh, gravitational force so it implies electric force is very much stronger than the gravitational force now i'm now coming to the significance of the epsilon naught or epsilon r in electromagnetisms permittivity is one of the fundamental material parameter okay i mean 
epsilon or epsilon naught or epsilon r. Actually, the epsilon, it affects the propagation of electrical field or force. Okay, I mean electrical field or force depends upon the value of the permittivity. Permittivity is a typical, you know, is typically denoted by the symbol epsilon. Absolute permittivity is the measure of the resistance that is encountered when that is encountered when forming electrical field in a medium. Permittivity is the measure of resistance that is encountered when forming an electric field in the mean it's very important. In other words, like if the permittivity is small, that means there is a small resistance for the forming of the electric force. That means electrical force which develops will be stronger. Okay. On and the other words, permittivity is a measure of how an electrical field affects how the electrical field affects and is affected by the dielectric medium. Okay. Now, to understand the physical meaning of the permittivity, consider the figure. The two charge plates, they are separated with equal and opposite charges on the either side. Assume for the moment that between the plates, plates there is no material medium uh, like shown in figure. There will exist an electrical field directed positive to negative in downward in direction. Now let's next imagine that some material may be like water molecules. The material is no doubt any material is no doubt made up of atoms and which often form the molecules like uh, the for example the water molecule. This molecule often look electrically like small dipoles. Okay. They are small dipoles, positive, negative. They are separated by small distance. In general, these, uh, you know, they are the dipoles, but their dipole moment is randomly oriented in the space. And net dipole moment as a whole of the material at is zero. So in the absence of the electrical field, the molecules of the material align randomly like shown in the figure. Now next we suppose that this material is placed between the two charge plates. Now what will happen? The molecule will align themselves. Okay. So to exert maximum force of attraction of the charge plates. Now there are two fields will exist. One is the external field and another will be the field due to the alignment of the dipoles. Again positive to negative. Now there are two electrical fields. Positive to negative which is external. One is external. And other is the internal field of the dipoles again positive to negative. What is the resultant field? Resultant field becomes external field minus the internal field and this field will be reduced. If the field is reduced, resultant field is reduced, mean what we say. Now the force, again, now the force will be modified force will also be reduced inside the 
dielectric okay because dielectric itself dielectric itself form an electric field because from the name it is clear dielectric when it is acquiring positive negative charges so it is developing itself an electric field which opposes the external thereby the resultant field is reduced or you can say resultant force is reduced so this is the meaning of the permittivity okay generally the permittivity will vary with frequency temperature and humidity for many common materials the variation will be negligible the so we can say the permittivity is a measure of how much the molecule opposes the external field okay the external the e field due to now if we write the electrical field due to a source charge q that is 1 over 4 pi epsilon not q by r square and you know value of the epsilon is epsilon not is which is the permittivity of the free space 8.854 into 10 to the power minus 12 farad upon meter now how it is farad upon meter think about the you know capacitance of the spherical capacitor c is equal to 4 pi epsilon not into r and what is epsilon not c divided by r of course 4 pi also but basically it is c upon r c mean farad r mean meter so farad upon meter and the other unit just c the simplification newton minus 1 coulomb square meter minus 2 so permittivity of the free space is measured in farad per meter so this is the permittivity of a vacuum in general electrical field due to a point charge will be reduced due to the molecule within the if there are molecules within the material then electrical field or the force will be reduced i just explained and then we write the electrical field is 1 upon 4 pi epsilon not epsilon r cube by r square or epsilon not epsilon r is called epsilon mean absolute permittivity okay epsilon r is called relative permittivity so this is the concept of permittivity permittivity basically it measures the opposition to the external field how much the material opposes if it opposes less there will be more force if it opposes more then there will be less electrical field or the less force okay thank you